A relay is a switch operated by an electromagnet. An electromagnet. Now, what's the point in that? Well, this is usually used to protect a sensitive low current circuit as it controls a separate high current circuit. And the classic example of this is in the ignition system of a car. So let's take a look at that ignition circuit of a car. So in order to make the engine of a car turn over and start, a starter motor is used and that requires a huge current from the car battery sometimes about 100 amps and well your wires have to be uh, thick and short otherwise the wire resistance will be too high and they'll melt so we can't run a wire all the way from the starter motor in the engine to the driver to connect the switch and then go back to the battery because that would just be too long and the wires will be too bulky and too thick so we're going to use a low current circuit controlled by the driver to control a high current circuit which is to the starter motor let's show you how it's done so here's the car battery slightly lopsided battery sorry about that okay first of all let's show the the starter motor now the starter motor symbol for a motor is usually an M and we're going to just put two little contacts here so that the, the circuit is broken there's no current flowing in this circuit yet the starter motor hasn't been activated so we're not switching the engine on yet but over here this is going to be the relay and we're going to have a little connect little connection here So when we push this red button in, it connects up the starter motor re um, circuit and that will make the starter motor activate. How do we make that connection close? Well, we're going to use a, a core, uh, an iron core. Iron core. And so this is the relay. And carrying on there. Okay, now here is the the driver's switch. This is the, the key switch. So the driver ignition key. Ignition key switch. So when the driver turns the key, uh, we're going to put a, a coil of wire now around this relay. Now this is an electromagnet. and we're going to return that back to the battery. So when the driver activates the ignition key, turns the key, that switch will close. That means a current will flow from the battery into the low current circuit. And that, that will have thin wires and quite long wires to get to where the driver is from the engine. Current will flow along here through the closed switch and activate the electromagnet. So this is an electromagnet relay. The, the electromagnet creates a magnetic field which pulls the iron core into it and in doing so will connect up the starter motor circuit which is a high current circuit high current starter motor circuit motor circuit so we're using a small circuit or a low current circuit to operate a high current a high current circuit now when we have got the engine going we want to stop the starter motor from turning around and so what we'll have to do here is connect up a little spring to the uh, 
relay so that when we stop turning the ignition key switch and we open the switch again the spring will pull the iron core back out and that will stop the starter motor circuit from being completed and operating. So that's an example of a relay which is a low current circuit controlling a high current circuit.